Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to show you a full tutorial step by step on how to make engraved tumblers that are seamless, that are tapered with a handle using your CO2 laser and a rotary. And wow, I had to record that so many times because I could not say all those words together for some reason, but I think I got it that time. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. And if you haven't seen seamless tumblers, they are absolutely beautiful, amazing. It's when the design is seamless all the way around and you're able to engrave the whole cup and it just looks like it's all one piece and it's just so beautiful and so much fun and so we're going to be learning how to do that today and I've been wanting to do that for so long but for some reason I thought in my mind it was going to take so much work to figure out how to get everything working in the laser where everything's seamless and it doesn't mess up and I just I, I just thought it was going to be so much work and I couldn't find a whole lot of information about it so I spent like a whole day researching figuring things out and I got it you guys and I I can't believe it was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to take a lot more work and a lot more effort, but it's really not that much different than normal tumblers that I'm used to. I'm used to just straight tumblers and um, just simple designs. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that today. And it's not that hard, you guys. It really is not that hard. So don't get discouraged. If you think that you can't do it, you totally can. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I can't wait to share it with you guys. It was so much fun recording it. And let's go ahead and get on into this video. All right, y'all, so we're out in the shop, and we're going to get our tumblers ready. So I'm going to be using this Mars brand. It's the only brand I use for my engraved tumblers. I have had the best results with these. I've been using this brand for years with just my personalized cups, but they also engrave really, really well. So the one that we're going to be using in this video is the 40-ounce steel. Does it have a name? A charger. It's called the charger. So this is the color we're going to be using. It's so pretty. It's called soft matte mauve shadow i think it's mauve correct me if i'm wrong but yeah mauve shadow so pretty it's got like a soft feel um and these engrave really really well so the thing i like about this company and brand is it comes with the box it comes with two straws and it comes with a bag that goes over your cup which i already took out and it's in there um so whenever i'm making these for customers i will literally just put it back in the bag Put my instructions inside of the cup and put it in here and ship it to the customer not just in this box but i'll put this box in another box and then kind of pack it um so it comes like that in every single cup that you get so that's what i really like about it because you kind of can repurpose it for packaging um the other ones that i use when i make my tumblers are these they are the skinny steel 20 ounce so these engrave really well as well and i do a lot of colors of these these are the ones i normally do these are straight all the way around so that's a little bit more simple and as you see with these cups it's tapered so you guys are not only going to learn how to do the full wrap but you're going to learn kind of how to work around the tapered um, tumblers and mugs as well so that is what we're going to be doing i will link these down below the company that i use because um i love them so much i've been using them for years and um, the more you get the cheaper it is so that's always a plus too but yep yeah, let's go ahead and get our tumblers prepped and ready i just wanted to throw it out there please ignore my voice in today's video i've never in my life dealt with allergies until this year and for some reason i don't know if it's something in the air pollen something um but i have been my voice has been going in and out so please ignore that in today's video and hopefully it sounds worse to me than it does to you and hopefully it's not annoying <laughs> So the laser that I have, if you're new to this channel, is Thunder Laser. That is the brand of the CO2 laser that I have. They have different sizes and powers. Um, the one that I have specifically is the Nova 130 watt, and it is the 51, which means it has a 51 inch bed. So it's pretty big on the inside, but just know that they have other shapes and sizes and types and powers and all that stuff. But this, I was a beginner when I got this laser, and um, I learned it all from then on. So it's a great, great, great company and machine if you're looking into getting a laser and the type of rotary that I have is the Roto Boss, and I absolutely love it as well I've had no issues with it and I've been using it as well as long as I've had my laser for a little over a year now and um, like I said I love it but that is the type of rotary that I have and just know guys if y'all have a different laser and a different rotary and you're trying to figure out how to do this you can utilize a lot of the tips in this video in order to make you some full wrap tumblers as well 
All right, so first things first, you are going to want to remove your handle. So this is not necessary. You don't have to do this, um, but I want a seamless full wrap engraved. So I will need to remove the handle in order to accomplish that. So I'm going to remove that. And luckily it's really easy to do so. You see these two screw heads here. You're just gonna take an Allen wrench and you are going to remove those. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then our handle will pop right off. Okay, so as you see, my screws are gone. So now the handle just pops right off and then you're left with just these little welded pieces on. Um, so now we can engrave fully around our whole cup. So the next step is to make sure that your rotary is straight on your machine. I do it a couple ways. I line my laser dot up with a couple spots on here to keep it straight. And then I line it up on this knife bed to also make sure it's straight. And it also has magnets on the bottom so it keeps it still. So once that is done, you are gonna want to make sure your rotary is plugged in. So the laser head on the left is the standard regular laser head that comes with your laser. The one on the right is the four inch head um, that you have to purchase separately. The difference is, is this focal distance is six millimeters. So it's a little bit closer to your, whatever you're trying to engrave. And then this one is 10 millimeters. And I'm gonna explain to you why it's important to use this one here in just a second. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our cup here in the rotary. Now I do wanna say, if you do not know how to figure up your steps per rotation, so the numbers you put into your software, then I'm gonna go ahead and link my first video on just how to engrave a tumbler here in the cards right now. Um, but I'm not gonna explain how to get the steps per rotation, but I will share my um, settings here in just a minute. But we're gonna go ahead and put our cup in our laser. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out our origin point. So this is important when you're making tumblers because this is where the top of your design is going to be or where it's going to be in your software. So I'm gonna, you see the dot, the laser dot right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and move this laser head until it gets to the top of that silver part right here. All right, now that we've gotten our laser dot, the little red dot right at the top of our powder coated area, we're gonna go ahead and head over here, right here, and you are going to hit this origin button right here. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you guys why you use the four inch head versus the standard head that comes with your laser. So I actually prefer the standard head for normal tumblers, like skinny tumblers, all those flat surfaces. I use my normal, regular laser head. Um, the focal distance for this one is six millimeters, which is closer to your cup. So that's no problem when there's no tabs. But as you see here, this cup has tabs which are sticking up. And so if we used this head, it would just be banging into these tabs. You can use it, but you're gonna have to figure out a way to avoid these tabs if you want a true seamless design. So the good news about this four inch head is it has a 10 millimeter focus which as you see here is a lot higher than the six. So you're, you have more room to kind of work around here. And it's okay if it's a little bit off, like the top is gonna to be a little bit not focused compared to the bottom because this is a tapered tumbler. You could fine tune this and break your design into two. So you can engrave this, stop, focus, engrave this, stop, focus if you want to, but I've figured up a way to make it to where you have it all done in one pass. So I have my four inch head in there. As you see, obviously it has the 10 millimeter focus. So these tabs are not in its way. So I'm able to start it and completely go around and it'll stop in the same spot without hitting those tabs, without interfering with anything. So that is why I prefer the 10 inch head. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is focus your head onto your tumbler. So as mentioned, we have our cup level. We already put it in our rotary and got it as level as we could with the top or the bottom, sorry, of the cup slightly raised um, and then leveling it from the top. So the cup is level, everything's good with that. So now we're gonna take our laser head and we're gonna kind of focus it at about 10 down here. And then we focused, or up here, it's a little bit obviously lower than 10 because it's a tapered cup at the top. But as you see here, it's not hitting those tabs and it's perfect. Like it ends up engraving great this way, even though it's not perfectly 10 millimeters, 
it ends up looking great. So that is what I am doing for this cup. Okay, so something else I just wanna mention before we get started is before you get going with it, make sure that these tabs here are not gonna hit your rollers at the bottom. I did have to make some slight adjustments on my rotary to make sure that these tabs were not gonna bump into the roller down there. So just check that before you get started and it's easy to just move, your, move it and make it a little bit larger so that it doesn't bump those tabs. Um, I just wanted to mention that before we get started. Let's check over everything. We have our laser on. We have our rotary inside of our machine lined up straight. We have the rotary plugged up into the laser. We have our cup inside of the laser with the handles off. We have our four inch head on. We have that focused to 10 millimeters down here. It's a little bit closer there, but it does not matter. You'll see in a minute. And we made sure that our cup was level. We made sure that our rollers are not gonna get in the way with our tabs and we are ready to go. So now let's head over to Lightburn and I'm gonna show you my settings. Once you're in Lightburn, you're going to make a rectangle the size of your tumbler. So you wanna measure it around and you wanna measure it top to bottom. For this specific cup, my design will be 9.2 width by 12.3750 height. The width is how tall my cup is and I'm gonna go a little bit larger than my cup so that the engrave will go over the bottom slightly. Whatever design that you make or buy, you want it to fit inside of this rectangle. It's really just a guide for you so that you know what will fit. What I'll then do is center everything up within my rectangle. The next thing I'll do is make sure that my settings over here are set to user origin, job origin on the bottom left. That is where the um, it will start to engrave. Now you're going to go to the top to laser tools rotary setup and these are my settings now remember you will need to set up your steps per rotation here to know exactly what numbers work with your specific cup and rotary i have linked that video explaining more which is the first tumblr video i did in my description you then just want to make sure that you have your design set to fill and engrave with the air turned off there will still be some air coming out of your laser air assist but it just needs to be minimal air You'll want to get a practice cup to kind of figure out your settings because they'll probably be a little bit different than mine since every laser is different. Once everything is centered up you want, then you'll be ready to send it to your laser and get started. Here you're going to see on the right hand side, you'll see some little lines here. That's just from the rollers, but they wipe off super easily, so no worries about that. Once your cup is out of the laser, you're gonna grab some LA Totally Awesome. You can get it at the Dollar Tree and you're just gonna spray it all over your cup. And the next thing that you're gonna need is a magic eraser. So these two together, just make your cup shine. They make the engrave look super good. If you have any blemishes or anything, it just comes right off of your cup. So I will just wipe all that off and also grab a paper towel because once you get all of that buffed up, you're gonna wanna wipe it off with the paper towel. And then I'll usually spray one more spray of the Totally Awesome after I clean it up a little bit and use my paper towel and just make everything look nice. Here I'm just grabbing my handle and I am just popping it right back on where we took it off, replacing the screws again, and then just using your Allen wrench or tool to put those screws back in, super easy. Here is our final design, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed. This one was my absolute favorite to make. Let me know what you guys think. And here are some of the other ones that I kind of played around with over the last couple days, just practicing, and I think they all turned out really cute. And they're really good design ideas for the full wrap tumblers. All right, you guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys, we do so much on this channel. We do all kinds of different crafts. 
vinyl, sublimation, laser items, just business, Etsy. The list goes on and on and on. It's a great community here, and I would love it if you would join us. So I guess I will see you guys in the next one, which will be later this week. Bye, y'all.